So here I've got my two screens. I've got splash and home, which I have here. Splash, then this is home. Then the main class, which is app.js, is right here. This is where I put my navigation. So I put uh, my stack navigator inside. Then I put those two screens inside. So the splash screen here and then the home screen. Then the initial route is the splash screen. So it will start off by going to the splash screen. Then after you implement the, uh, the, the splash screen from, from this class, it will go to the home class. So here inside the splash screen, we've already imported the view. Um, let's just put a text here and call this splash right then let me just put some brackets here to just uh, uh, make sure it works out all right so you can see it uh, or maybe it's just a bit uh, at the top right there on ios it uh, on an ios simulator it will kind of be at the top top so let's just align it to center uh, let's align this to the center Okay, center, then align items to center. Okay, so once we do this, you can see that class, uh, that that uh, uh, text right there. So what do we do if we want to actually make a splash screen? So first of all, you need to understand that you need to invoke this method, uh, component did mount. Now what does the component did mount do? Uh, this uh, essentially just is is called immediately immediately after a component is mounted is mounted so basically what this does is after the component is mounted uh, whichever whatever you declare here then it will uh, start running so basically this is the class which we need to invoke then we also this is the method which we need to invoke then there's also another method called set timeout and the set timeout basically what it does is um, this set timeout implements a certain condition after a number or a period of time of time so basically this will implement a certain condition inside here after a period of time which we've set so for example let's just set 2000 2000 milliseconds this is in milliseconds as you can see ms right there so it will implement whatever you put inside here after the number of seconds you put here so let's just say it will implement uh, an alert just to see what it does uh, after two seconds and to, to say timeout so let's see if you run it, you see after two seconds, then it's, it implements an alert and it says timeout. So basically what we need to do now is to just uh, to just navigate to the new screen, right? So we'll say navigation dot navigate, then we'll call it home, which is this class, the home class. So after two seconds, wait for it, and it goes to the home class. So obviously in the home class, we haven't put anything. So what I'll do here is just copy this code. And I'll put it here, then call it home, like that. So as you can see, so if we reload this app, you see it starts with a splash and goes to home. Right? So we've implemented this splash screen. So now you can implement it in whichever way you want. Let's say you want to put an image. Let's say you want to just make it a bit more visual for the user. Uh, let's put an image here and let's just see how it comes out. So we'll say image. And then we'll say source. Okay, I need to first... Uh, import it from react native and we'll say require and we'll do this so i had already uh, put an image inside my assets folder i always put an assets folder uh, among other folders for my images or fonts whichever things you want i think this just looks neat 
So inside my assets folder, there's this logo, which is the logo for for this channel, Mofungo Kicks. And I'll just uh, put it there. So I'll say assets. Then I'll say Mufu logo dot PNG. Right, like that. Uh, okay. Let's think like that. Then let's reload. There it is. So obviously it's covering the whole screen. Uh, we just want to make sure that it comes out nice. So maybe set and height. If you have an image which you want maybe to cover the whole screen, then it's fine. But you can just make sure it's... Uh, uh, you can just contain it like this. Then at least it will come out a bit more nicely. Like that. So there's our image. So we can remove this text which is called Splash. And once we reload, you can see the image at the center right there. So you've learned how to create a splash screen uh, by just implementing this method called the set timeout. Now let's animate the splash screen. So basically, since we have put this image here, we want to animate it now. Uh, I have already uh, put this uh, library called React Native Animatable. So basically this library you also need it um, if you want to implement animations. There are other libraries you can use. I use that one because I find it uh, I find it uh, very useful. So basically I'll implement it and just assign a, a variable to it. I'll say animatable like that. So implement every import everything is animatable from this. So that I'll just come here and just say animatable dot image. So once we've done this, it will now be an animatable image. But you can see that if we reload the 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 screen, nothing happens because we haven't really implemented anything in terms of the animation. So you want to set the animation here. There are many animations you can find uh, on their page. You just search React Native Animatable on Google and you go to their GitHub page. You see many of their animations which they have. Uh, I'll just use the zoom in so that you for, for as an example. Then maybe set a duration as well uh, for the animation and just say let's say 1.5 milliseconds this is 1.5 uh, seconds so here you can see it zooms in right uh, you can use other animations as well you can say bounce in uh, left for example then if you reload you see the picture uh, the, the picture bounces in from from the left so it depends with whichever animation you want to put right and uh, that is that so let's move on to the last uh, uh, round now the bonus uh, let's put an activity loader for example so that the, the user might can just see that something is happening uh, on the splash screen without necessarily having to wait uh, for for anything so if you want to implement the the loader you just call use this it's called an activity indicator in react native and it was already imported so the activity indicator has a color um, you can search for more props from their from their page uh, the color I'll just put black uh, then the size size is either large or small I'll just say large, why not, right? So once we do this and we load, you see that activity indicator is there. But of course, maybe you didn't see it quite nicely. So let me just uh, uh, put it uh, down a bit. Uh, let's just say 30 px, right? Then here, let's just make sure it waits for a for at least four seconds. 
so that indicator is for for iOS on Android it will be a bit different just like that as well right so obviously here it's animating the image and not the indicator which means it loads before it comes uh, it, it shows the 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 whole view what you might want to do is just to make this view animatable then it's the moment you make this view animatable you move this from from the image so that you animate everything inside the view so just do this and put it here so that both of them will just come out at the same time just like that so you can use whatever you want uh, for for instance and maybe let's say fade in uh, from the left then reload and you see here it fades in right so this was our tutorial on creating a splash screen in react native if you liked it give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe share it with others and make sure this channel grows we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers good luck on your journey and god bless